Hey, what's up, guys? Harry Potter text. I haven't done one of these in a long time, so I'm going to give it another try. Give it another try, yeah. So, here it is right here from the half Flutter Prince. The, the text options I'm going to show you today is not exactly the same, but it is almost. So, as you can see here that it is a little lighter on the top. And in the picture, it's darker and it's a little more texture. This one has no texture, but you guys can do the texture after you're done here. So, I'm going to go on my blending options now. I'm going to start this off and click on bevel and emboss. My style is inner bevel. Technique is chisel hard. And depth, depth is 190. Okay, after this, look right here in this little thumbnail right here under the okay new style whatever and make sure it looks just like this as you're done so yeah so direction is up size is 29 soften and soften is zero angles is 40 and then 60 make sure this global light is clicked off make sure it's clicked off then your gloss contour is going to be a cone and then after that, you're going to click anti-aliased. And then your highlight mode on top is going to be screen with 100% on white color. Your shadow mode is going to be black with linear burn in 100. Okay, we're done with bevel and emboss. We're going to click on contour. And it's just going to be a regular, nice, linear with the 45 percent range that was an easy one so we're gonna go on to texture and you can see that it is ticked on so pattern is gonna be this one where is it sorry about that it's right here and to get to that you probably won't you probably don't see all these right here so you're gonna click this button right here and you're gonna click on rock patterns am I right and you're gonna click on append and they should pack back up uh, uh show up they don't if they don't show up just uh try out the different ones here and you should get it eventually so if I'm gonna look exactly the same but it doesn't really matter as long as it's gray and it's like a soft sandpaper click on that okay it's good with the scale of a hundred percent a depth of plus 22 percent and click link on with layer it should be ticked on but just click it <clears throat> if it's not <clears throat> excuse me gradient overlay click on that and it's going to be normal with a hundred percent opacity your gradient is going to be just like this and the colors oh crap sorry about that it's going to be I'm gonna read this out to you guys. It's five five eight C nine C, and it should look just like that. Now, depending on what movie it is, it it should change. Or, like in the movie, it's just plain gray. So, and then the last color, the last color, two two two, is. A blue but it's a very light blue so it's going to be e7 f5 f8 and then we got those four out of the, oh my bad uh you for gradient overlay still we're still on that uh reverse is ticked off linear is on style with a line with layer ticked ticked Angle is 90 degrees, scale is 100%, and now we're moving on to drop shadow. Because without drop shadow, trust me, it just looks plain bad. And uh, so, so I multiply with the black, opacity 85, angle 120, use global light is ticked on, distance is 11 pixels, spread is 0, size is 7 with the contour of linear and zero noise and that's basically it guys 
Hope you had fun with this. This is a very long tutorial. I hope not. Yeah, and before you before you click out of it, uh, make sure you click on new style right here by the OK button. Click on it, and it'll pop up in here. You want to do that because if you want to use uh, the blending options again, it will be right there to use, and you won't have to like mess around with it anymore. So that's it, guys. See you later. Peace out.